Hey everyone, Nick Walsh here from LiveX, and today we are going to be unboxing the Hollyland Cosmo 3000P. Uh, now this is a product you could get at Broadcast USA at broadcastusa.com, and it's going to be a really, really robust way to send video transmission. Now you could do 3G video uncompressed, which means anything up to 1080p60. Um, so let's take it out. Uh, this is much bigger than any other Hollyland product that we've opened up so far, so I'm excited to see what it could do. It's in a pretty similar briefcase style case, so you could throw it on a plane, take it with you anywhere, and then, whoa, let's open up this guy here. So this comes in a different form than anything else. It's actually in this big plate. So let's take this guy out and we'll check it out in a sec. Let's see, is there anything in here? Nope, that is empty. So, pull out this first layer. So, this layer is really tight in there. Cool. Cool. So, let's see what's inside. Get rid of that. And it's pretty much the same stuff that comes in any other Hollyland product. User manual, probably could find it online. Don't need that right now. Um, got some Allen keys, probably for this monitor mount to take that off and replace it with anything else. Got our three antennas here. Most of the antennas are probably internal on this plate, so I imagine these are going to be for the transmitter. Um, got the transmitter itself. And then we got articulating arm and crab clamp. And then we have cables. So let's get this case out of the way and see what we got going on. Cool, so cables, one thing, very happy about this, AC power, uh, you're gonna use that for this receiver guy. Probably not gonna wanna be very mobile even though it does have a V-mount battery on it. Probably use the V-mount as a backup, but this AC is a primary power for the receiver itself. And then you got two more cables. The end of these are gonna be a four pin limo and then D-tap here so you could D-tap them off a of V-mount battery or any SWIT battery or you could also get a D-tap to AC power adapter if you wanna be hardwired. Then we got our attachment methods here. There's this articulating arm and a crab clamp if you want to attach it to um, a monitor mount, so like a cage or anything, or if you want to attach to a table or something, you'd use this guy. Here's this articulating arm. It gets really, really tight, which is good, especially if it's on a camera because you don't want it flopping around. So you would loosen it up. It's like any other friction arm. You loosen it up, position it how you want it, and then once you tighten it, it locks into place, and then that's not going anywhere. Allen keys, we went over that. Here are the antennas. You could uh, move these antennas around to get them in the optimal location. You'll attach these to the transmitter, which is right over here. And then there's internal antennas on the actual uh, plate itself. So that's how you're gonna uh, transmit that 3G 1080p 60 video signal. So let's open up the transmitter. This thing is pretty large. It's probably like the biggest wireless transmitter that I've seen. And it is a little heavy, so you definitely have to make sure you secure it to your camera, especially if you're handheld, uh, really, really well. And make sure it's in an optimal location. You have here these two antenna ports. Or you could just screw in the antennas from before. It comes with three, but it looks like you only need two, so it's good, it gives you a backup in case you lose one of them. You have two ways to mount it. There's a 3 8 screw on the front face or quarter 20 screws on the bottom. I really like how you do have a lot of options, especially as a camera operator. Everything is very specific, so I do like how you can position it exactly where you want it. Now this guy's gonna be V-mount powered, so you'll plug in a V-mount here and then D-tap off of it to power the actual unit. And then on this side is the channel coordination, where this will work kind of like a walkie-talkie. So you pick your channel one through 10 and just match them on either side, and that will coordinate the frequencies for you. It actually does scan and change frequencies if there's any interference, uh, which is pretty cool. It's awesome also if you're using more than one set, so you can make sure that they're not gonna interfere with each other. You'd pick your channel here, you establish link and video here, have your on-off switch and your power port there. On the other side is where the actual I.O. is. A mini USB here, that's how you're gonna do firmware updates. We have an HDMI in and an SDI in on either side here. One thing to note is it will not act as a converter, so if you have HDMI plugged in, you're gonna get HDMI out, same thing with SDI. You also have this SDI loop out for a monitor on a camera or anything, and a stereo in if you wanna attach a microphone or anything like that. So let's put the transmitter over the side and check out this giant receiver. So, first thing to notice is this monitor mount. 
There are a lot of screw options. I feel like I wouldn't want that many options, you know, just having one thing directly onto it. So this is, it doesn't come with any screws or anything, so you'd kind of have to figure that part out. So I would check that out how you would actually mount this. It, so it wouldn't be necessarily something you just grab and go. I would think you definitely want to make sure that you have something you could screw into. It looks like there's quarter 20 and then uh, something smaller here. So let me just show that off here. So it's a little weird. It's like interesting, it's a little off center. I guess it's to make it so you could articulate it around and point at the transmitter better. But yeah, that's a really interesting way to mount it. I'd love to see it. But it does give you Allen keys, um, so you can actually take it off if it's not your fancy. So let's check it out here. You have V-mount here if you want to power it. I would probably like throw a V-mount on here, but still use the AC power. Uh, but so just have V-mount as a backup because this thing I would never want to attach to anything mobile anyway. I just want to leave it on a stand and forget about it. Um, so I would just use V-mount pretty much as a backup or if like I can't get power out there. On the bottom here is where some IO is. There's the SDI outs, there's one and two. So you could get two signals out of it. An on and off switch and the power here. On the back of it again is where you're gonna coordinate the channels. So this guy, you'll just make sure that they match and then it'll send video over. And then on this side is where we have our HDMI and our USB. USB for firmware updates, HDMI for HDMI signal. And so you'll set this up. So I would be really, really interested to see this because this could go 1,000 meters or 3,000 feet, which is a little over a half a mile. So that's pretty insane. I'd love to check it out and see that it's actually a 0 0.1 uh, millisecond latency, which is just like pretty incredible, which I could see used a lot for sports and especially drones. Maybe not this transmitter just because it is so large. But it would probably end heavy for a drone, but I think like as we're using drones more and more, it'll be really interesting to see where wireless video takes us. Um, so yeah, I think this will be a really, really interesting product to use out in the field uh, and see like how far away we could get a camera and still see clean signal. But thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more unboxing videos, you can check us out on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter at LiveX Production. And check out the Broadcast USA website if you want to pick one of these guys up at broadcastusa.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>